Hey my fellow jewelers, what is up? I am so excited because today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a three-stranded necklace. I love this necklace. Huh, sorry, I'm looking at myself going, I look fancy today. I look fancy. Yeah, I, <laughs> I actually have been dying to wear this necklace and so I kind of match the outfit with the necklace. If you start to make jewelry, you're going to do the same exact thing. You're going to start forming your outfits around your jewelry making just to warn you so let's get back to business so three stranded necklace i love this necklace because this necklace doesn't really require many beads so it's a perfect necklace for when you have a couple of beads left over from a project you already did so let's get started i'm going to show you exactly what you need and how to make it So this is what you're going to need in order to make the three stranded necklace today. You're gonna to need your cutting pliers. You're gonna need your needle nose. And I already have a pendant that I'm using that's already been pre-made for me. But if you don't have a pendant, it's okay, you don't need one. But if you want one and you can actually make one, you can actually get a head pin and use this and make your own pendant. So you know how I talked about making your own earrings? If you go back to that video, you can actually use what you make for earrings into a pendant. So if you wanna make your own pendant, you're gonna need these. If not, you're not gonna need them today. So these are the tools you're gonna to need. You're gonna need, I always have three wires with me. I have a, a 0.45, uh, gauge. I have a 0.3 gauge and another 0.3 gauge. I like to use at least one smaller gauge because if you use bigger gauges, then you won't be able to use your crimping beads very well and it's really hard. So today I decided to use two smaller gauges and a bigger gauge. And then I have my beads. You don't really need a lot of beads. I love it. You don't need it. And then I have my pendant. I just think it's so pretty. I'm so excited about this. So what you're going to do, I already did part of it. You're going to make your wires to the same length. You're going to bring it out. So I haven't done it with this one. I'm going to undo that. And then I'm going to make sure this wire is as long as the other two wires. So you're going to make it as close as possible. Sometimes you can't be exact and that is okay. And then I'm not going to cut it. I don't like cutting it because I always feel like I waste a lot of wire. And so I'm going to strap my little cover back on it and voila I'm just gonna do it this way boom and I got my wire so excited what we're gonna do we're gonna get, we're gonna do a little bit of a pattern you're gonna start with your first bead and you're gonna put it on two wires two of the wires now pay attention what wires you put on because you don't want to keep putting it on the same two wires so we got it on two wires and you're going to push it all the way down as far as it'll go and then grab the wire you didn't use and one of the wires you did use and put your next bead on it. Just like that. So I did, so the pattern is kind of like two, two, one, two, two, one. So the next bead I'm just gonna put through one wire. Oh, ha, ha, ha. I'm just gonna put it through one wire and I am gonna keep that pattern going. Isn't that great? I love it. So you just keep going with your two, two, one pattern. Make sure that you're changing up the wires that you're using. You're not using the same two every time because you're, it, it just doesn't work very well. So two, two, one, two, two, one, two, two, one, and do that all the way through. So see that the two, two, three pattern. Oh, so pretty. So next you're going to put your pendant. You're going to put all three wires through your pendant. So I'm going to show you. So you got your three wires, boom. And then you're gonna get your pendant. If you want a pendant, if you don't want a pendant, it still looks beautiful without the pendant. But I like putting pendants on once in a while. The last necklace I made of this, I didn't put a pendant on and it looked gorgeous. Put my pendant on. You see that? Yeah, baby, oh, I love it. And then you're gonna start your two, two, one again. So you're gonna do your pattern all the way through. So here I go. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna now need to put your clasp on before we do anything else. So I'm gonna take my crimping bead. I'm actually gonna put two crimping beads on and you'll see in a moment why. So first put your first crimping bead on and then put your second crimping bead on because you're gonna need two crimping beads for each side on your toggles. And you're gonna make a loop 
and you're gonna put it through, put it through the first crimping bead first, but all three, all three have to go through the first crimping bead. That's why we do smaller gauges on your wires. So all three have to go in first, put it pretty tight, but you want, if you have a toggle, you kind of want it to have a little leverage, little leeway, and then you're gonna crimp it. Crimp that one. And so why am I doing a second crimping bead? Because this is gonna hurt the person having any wire, any wire um, close to the person's neck pokes you and it feels like needles in your back and it's the worst, it's the, oh, it's the worst. So we do a third crimping bead. I kind of have a lot here, so I'm gonna cut down. You don't wanna cut down all the way, but you kind of wanna give it maybe like, I don't know, not very much room, if you see that. And I'm gonna cut, make it even make those three strands even. Oh, I'm gonna cut the other one a little bit more. A little bit more. And you can see that, and you're gonna want it, so you, the end of it is just barely, the end of the wires is just at the tip of your crimping bead, because again, you don't want those poking the person that's wearing it. And I'm gonna crimp it, make sure, all three wires, crimp it, and there, you won't have the person getting hurt. They won't be poked by your wires. Now the great thing, oh, the really great thing about this necklace is see how much wire I have? These are all mobile, they're not stationary. And so you're gonna be pushing all your beads back up this. And I love it, you're just gonna push, 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 so easy. Make sure that you don't have a lot of wire, extra wire, you don't wanna waste wire, you wanna save those for your beads, for saving money for beads. Push, push, push. So you can either have a lot of room or not much room, but make sure you make it even before you cut. So I kinda like it kinda squished together, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna push, 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 and then I'm gonna try it out. Is it long enough? Uh, I could do a little bit longer, but yeah. So you get the point. So make it to the length that you like. And then, now we're gonna cut. Now we're gonna do our cutting. Make sure you give yourself room to have a big loop and to be able to put two crimping beads. So I'm gonna give myself a good, good amount. So just do the same thing you did with the other side. Your two crimping beads and then your toggle. Okay, so. Just did my last toggle. I'm going to space them out. And I got myself a necklace. Oh, it's so cute. So cute, so cute, so cute. Here it is, my three-stranded necklace. Doesn't that look fabulous? Now, here's a little trick for you. If you cut it too short and you, <laughs> You can't really undo the clasp and all that. What you do, you're gonna cut your toggles off. Don't cut the wire, cut the toggles, and then put an, an adjustable back on it. So you get chain and you get a little jump ring and you're gonna connect it to that loop that you made with your wire. And then you're gonna get another jump ring and a lobster class and you can make an adjustable one. So if you make it too small or, or whatever, then, then it's easy just to make an adjustable necklace. I like it, what do you think? I think it's gorgeous, yes. Gorgeous, three-stranded necklace, baby. That's how you do it, that's how you roll. So if you have any questions, then leave it in the comment box. So like, comment, share. I do videos twice a week. I usually do how-to jewelry videos once a week, but I do videos twice a week. So subscribe to my channel if you want to get updates on when my newest video is out. Click right here, boom. Click there, subscribe to my channel, and it'll give you updates on my latest videos. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Three standard necklaces rule. What, what? All right. All right. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Mwah. Bye.